All right, good morning everyone from a beautiful day here in sunny Sri Lanka. We're kicking things off in the capital, Colombo. Now we're about a 20 minute drive outside the city centre and our area, as you can see, has got a proper village feel to it. Got all the trees, the small houses, the birds, check it out. And then over there you can see the tower flats. Now let me just show you the other side super quick. Look at this. Proper chilled out feel around here. And it's quiet, it's peaceful. Lad's playing cricket in his yard. People are hanging clothes up on the roof. Right, so super excited to be here. First thing we're gonna have to do is head out for some proper Sri Lankan breakfast. We're gonna do it, aren't we, Leash? I can't wait, I'm well excited. It's really chilled out, I love it so far. <laughs> right, let's go. I mean, look at this, everyone. Would you believe we were in the capital city if I didn't tell you? Lovely area. Here's our spot, everyone, the S and T Hotel. So let's see what we've got in here. What are you looking at in the window there? I don't know what these are, like fried smells. Rolls. Good morning. Hi. How are you, Woven? Hello. How are you? Yeah, You're okay? We've come for a big Sri Lankan breakfast. <laughs> Classic Sri Lankan breakfast. So this spot has got all these pots with different dishes in. And then I think we can pair these with rice, string poppers, brata, whatever. Can I take that again? Oh, you have rice? Uh, yeah. Okay. Rice. So, yeah. Yes, so far, Sri Lanka people, dead chill. I mean, I don't know what I expected. I mean, we are on a big island, so I don't know. People just maybe it's just islanders are always just more chill. But anyway, they're always proper nice and smiling. We're getting a plate of rice. With a load of dishes on, Lisa's getting paratha. Well, let's see, let's see if we can have a look in here. So these are all the dishes. It's got one, two, three, four. So six different dishes that you can have with your carb. So what are we on? Chicken curry, spicy chicken curry. First thing in the morning, yes please. That chicken curry looks very good. I'm very excited to eat this. So we're just gonna pile a lot of side dishes onto the rice and then get going. It smells well good in here. So wait for the food to come now. Got a bottle of water, we need to stay hydrated because it's flipping boiling, it's so hot. I like, just walked out of the room and I am dripping in sweat. It's been such a long time. I know, it's... Wow. We'll have to get used to it. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Right, everyone, my food's here. Get this for a nice little plate. Nice breakfast there. So what have we got, should we show you? Try my best to explain. Is that fish? Is that chicken? So we've got a giant piece of chicken and then we've got some dal, and then we've got the coconut sambal, which is, what is it, Lee? It's just coconut... And um, chilli, I think. And chilli, coconut and green chilli, like yeah. mixed up with a bit of red onion. And then, what is this? Is this bitter melon? I don't know. No, I don't know. But anyway, it looks very good. Nice plate of rice for breakfast. Now, I think Lee, she's on the same, but with paratha. So I'm just gonna wash my hands. Put this sink over there before we eat. This is Leisha's, look at this. Ooh, this looks so Leisha's pretty much just got the same without the chicken. Yeah. And then we have a nice plate of paratha. How will they give him a feel, Leisha? Nice and thin. Yeah, really good. Nice oh, what do you it's 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 spicy. Oh, don't worry. The, the, the spicier, the better. <laughs> don't worry. Right, everyone. We've also got this little spicy chicken gravy. It smells incredible. Really, it looks so good. Alright, so let's wash my hands. 
Right everyone, let's go. First, proper Sri Lankan breakfast. I'm just pinching some of Alicia's parantha to try this chicken gravy. Oh mate, spicy chicken gravy, let's see how it is. It looks good. Look at this. Fantastic. I'll tell you what, it's got a right kick to it though. Wow. And it's just what you want. It's delicious though. If Sri Lanka's going to deliver on the spicy food from I'm a happy man, I tell you, that's really good. It's really rich. Meaty. So let's try the rice. What do we do? I don't know what to do. It's the chicken. The chicken, straight in on the chicken. It's got a big piece of chicken here. Let's try the chicken on its own. Soup because it's cooked in that gravy. And then, yeah, what we do is just mixing these dishes. So, I'm going to try that coconut sambal, which looks well. Though. Let's see how it is. Wow, that is well good. Look at this. What did I say here? Just minced coconut and like green chilli. You can really taste the chilli in there. Like a proper like earthy chilli taste as well. Oh, it's, really, it's really good. It's again, it's quite spicy. But it's tasty, it's really tasty. Fresh, that's it, really fresh. So let's just try just a bit of everything while we're here. Let's try the dal. That was really good. Let's try this completely random dish that I don't know what it is. Let's see how that is. Again, very good. What do you reckon? Heavy like food. Good sauce, like I said. It's really fresh. But tasty. I think I'm going to be a fan of it. It's going to be a lot of seafood as well. Yeah. Because it's a lot of fish. So yeah, I think we can get used to the old Sri Lanka breakfast. Mm. Korean rice, first thing in the morning. Yes, please. That is a plate of food right there. This, let's get some of this. All over that rice. Look at that. That's what we want. Mix that in. Right. I'm happy. I like this as well on a table. We've just got an old sweet jar cutting off. Fill with pieces of newspaper to use as tissues. Look at this. Classic stuff. So I can wipe my face with this man's moustache. That was fantastic. So let's see how much it cost, didn't ask. No idea. Let's see. How much Sri Lankan breakfast costs us? Chicken, uh, rice, chicken and rubies. Okay. Uh, for and, uh, rice and curry. I mean, sorry, curry. Yeah. Sambar. So my plate of rice was 300 and Leash's plate with the paratha was 240. Perfect. It was amazing. Super tasty. I mean you can't beat it can you? Home cooked food. Who is the chef sir? Who is the cook? Uh, oh she's in the back. She's, she's being shouted out. And how do you say in, in Sinhalese? In Sinala, how do you say delicious? Uh, like, sorry? In your language, how do you say delicious? Uh, we say, uh, like, like tasty. Taste. Uh, Masai. 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 Yeah. It was delicious. Masai. Thank you. <laughs> very good, sir. Eat head chef. Go ahead, chef. Yeah. Your food is fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> So, it's getting changed. I only had a massive note of 5,000. I've got to say, oh, sorry, I'm in the way of it, bro. <laughs> Sri Lankan notes are beautiful, super colourful. What's this? What is this, sir? Beetle note. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> okay. You can't taste this one. Okay. You can make you well aware. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, no beetle note for me. <laughs> Thank you Thank so much. Like you guys Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A beast one on the counter. Okay, goodbye. Okay, see you again. Bye-bye, bye-bye.
while we're here, I'm just gonna show you some of these notes in the sunlight. Please, can I ask you to hold the camera one sec? So what have we got here? All right, look how colorful they are. Let's get them in the light. Look at the colors on them. Very beautiful. It's like Monopoly money. Look at that. They've all got little butterflies as well in the corner. They've got beautiful illustrations on. Yeah. I don't know why, I like new currencies. Every country I go to, I keep like a few notes. Sri Lankan currency is going to be one of the most beautiful. So when we were eating, I saw a man across the road with some steel buckets and it looks like he might have drinks. So we'll see what he's got. Let's just cross the road. How is it crossing the road on the outskirts of Colombo? As you can see, not much traffic, not many people. It's nice, look. It's surprisingly quite clean. I mean, I had no idea what to expect. There's pretty much no shit anywhere. Which is nice, it's nice to walk around, look at this. Tropical vibe. It just feels like the lake park. Feels chill, doesn't it? Not that much beeping either. Oh, <laughs> obviously, because I said that, he heard me, didn't he? What have we got? It's like a green drink. Hello sir, how's it going? What are these drinks you sell? Oh, it's like cheese. I don't know. What is in this one? Oh, I don't know what these drinks are. Do you have the green one? No more. Oh gosh, that one looks right nice, doesn't it? It smells like coconut. Is it wood apple? Oh, uh, what is the name of this? Let's see, does anyone know? Should we just get one? I mean, it looks pretty interesting. Can we get one, please? One glass. Whatever this is, we're going to get it. I have no idea what it is. It's it 100 rupees. Really does it? It smells like coconut. And something else that I've never smelled before. Look at this. It. It's really thick. Oh my, it's like a smoothie. Yeah. Wow. Surprise juice on the street of Colombo. Cheers, sir. Yeah, should we go for it? Go on, Lee. Try that. Cheers. It's like a meal. Oh wow. Oh, he's holding out a box of this. You eat that oh, with this. Jaggery. It's jaggery that box. Jaggery? I think he's showing me what's inside. Oh, it's made with jaggery and something else. So, this is in this. Oh, okay. It's thick. It tastes like jaggery mixed with like milk. That's what it tastes like. Well, let's it's have a do on warm. that. It's interesting. Oh, it is warm. It's been sat in his little pot. Sorry. Am I getting in everyone's way again? I was actually about to say everyone has an umbrella walking around. And that is because it's so hot and nobody wants to burn their asses off. So here we go. Look at that. Wow. I don't know what to say. It's like water, porridge. I don't know. Is that a rice based drink? I have no idea, but what's this one? It's got a white one there. Oh well. I don't know what it is. And like they always say, that's the best part of travelling, isn't it? I don't we don't have a clue what this is, but we're enjoying it. Trying new things. It's alright. You see my favourite drink on the planet? Probably not, but it tastes like it's got something in there that's definitely beneficial to your body. Yep, it was worth a try anyway. I know I'm here in his smart app. It was worth supporting him. What's that one as well? Look at this orange one. It's like passion fruit or something. That's that one. What is that? Is that passion fruit? It doesn't smell like passion fruit though. It smells very earthy. Really? Yeah. Alright. Cheers. It's got a little bit of a spice to it as well, that. What do you think? I think it tastes a bit salty. Well. It's alright. <laughs> We've been invited in to sit with the lads. To sit with the um, auto drivers in the corner. All having a break. Right, mate, good morning. How are we doing? <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> They should look red. I'm absolutely on fire. <laughs> That's why everyone's sat in here. And the only, the only shade in Colombo. And everyone's in it. 
lovely in the ship. It's a bit of a breeze. Yeah, it is alright. So yeah, I think we'll just sit here for a bit. Do a bit of people watching. By the road. And what, what is the word in your language, in Sinala? Burakka. 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 So there was actually a misunderstanding. There isn't jaggery in this, but it's given us a little piece of the jaggery to eat as we drink. Could be a body. Could be, yeah. What's it good for? Your stomach? For that health? Yeah? You drink this every day? Yeah. Yeah? Are you all a uh, rickshaw driver? These two lads. Yeah. Tuk tuk. That's your one. It's got the nice red one. Let's try this jaggery. It's better with the jaggery. Oh, it tastes. It's like pure natural sugar in it. So watch. Do a bit of mixing and matching. Good that. Makes it a little bit sweet because this drink itself is not sweet, it's almost like salty and porridgey and like starchy. How much sir? 100? Yeah. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you, okay? Best of luck. Really nice chapping. So everyone, what we're gonna do now is head off through these nice streets. Just go for a bit of a wander. Okay, so you got a tractor coming through. Don't get a wave off into that. I tried. Right, everyone, while we're walking through these little streets, we're going to have a bit of a story time about our first impressions yesterday when we landed in Sri Lanka. Now, we arrived on like 36 hours of no sleep because we couldn't be bothered paying for a hotel in Delhi because we had an early morning flight. But we arrived and Colombo Airport, I've got to say, is flipping fantastic. It took us about two minutes to get through. Everyone was really nice, no hassle, no hostile vibes off anyone. So chilled out, most chilled out airport we've ever been. We walked out of the airport and then we got an auto to our hotel. It took like an hour and a half. Uh, that was a brutal job for the guy and it cost less than half the price of the taxi in the airport so if you are doing that just walk outside grab an auto easier and then yeah we arrived everyone's super chill we went out we went to this little shop which is where we're going now we just wanted to buy a drink so leash picked up a uh, ginger ale out the fridge the guy wouldn't let us pay for it absolute legend and then he tried to give us some of his proper homemade curd and like jaggery syrup and I said to him we're gonna come back tomorrow mate we're waiting if it's we just, we just to wanted sleep. to go to sleep <laughs> yeah. so right now we're heading to see our mate and hopefully he's in here we go the spot where our mate is is he in is the boss man in no Right everyone, our mate is not in the shop today unfortunately but we just spoke to his wife who rang him and he's going to be in tomorrow so we're going to come back and I'm going to throw the clips in for when we come back and meet our mate but this family is so nice, this family of the people who gave us a free ginger ale yesterday and they are just giving us some milk chocolate drinks which is super kind Probably saw us sweating absolute buckets, I felt sorry for us but that's so kind, nice cold, let's see how it is a smack milk chocolate. I don't usually like chocolate milkshake drinks, so that's actually alright. Proper nice family. So like I said, the next clips you're gonna see are when we come back tomorrow. So Thank you so you much sir. We will see you tomorrow. Thank you. I can't wait to try the curd. Oh don't worry, no problem, no problem. Okay. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh boy, they went down fast, literally drank it in like 10 seconds. Now because it's glass, I'm going to ask if they recycle them. Which you never know. You know, glass bottle, recycle. Right, uh, recycle. Thank you so much, it's okay. Thank you so much. 
Yes, we will see him tomorrow. Thank you so much. Stuti. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, such nice people. They got they got proper nice smiles. That's that's one thing I'm noticing as we're walking around. Everyone gives you a right nice smile. Which is nice, in it when you're in a new country, you know what I mean? Makes you feel welcome. Right everyone, we're back. Hopefully our mate is in today. So we go this is shop. Is he in? Good morning, sir. How are you doing? This is a gift for you. Thank you, thank you. Very good, how are you? It's nice and cool in here. I know, it smells good. It does smell good, doesn't it? It smells like incense. So I'm super happy our mate is in. Yes, get in. Well, what's going on? Nothing really. Nothing much, just relaxing. Yes, it is. Yeah, don't worry yeah. about it. We just really wanted to try uh -huh. your curd but and the, you call it kitul. Kitul, yes. Yeah. yeah. I can give it to you. Yeah. I will, I will buy it. Uh, I will eat it here, is that okay? No need to buy it. <laughs> no need to buy it. I'm not selling. You're not selling? Yeah, the shop is closed. Yeah. It looks very good though. So... Kind of smell in Sri Lanka or what? So our mate is a bit of a legend. He actually delivers his curd to some of the finest hotels here in Sri Lanka. And he was just telling us he came from just absolute humble beginnings selling on the roadside. And he's just, just set up a right business for himself. So I think we're going to get a little ball here, let's see. So they package it up in these clay pots. It's actually really interesting. The proper clay pots, look at this. Massive tubs of curd. It's buffalo curd as well. So I think it'll be really good. What is this in the window, sir? Is this the jaggery? Jaggery, yeah, wow. Kittu, kittu. From the, the toddy farm. Yeah. So this window is just full of jaggery, the toddy farm sugar. Look at that, that is just pure sugar, pure natural sugar. So this on the shelf, all these dodgy bottles are like, they call it treacle. It's like toddy oh, palm syrup. <laughs> no, it's okay for you. Yeah, just thank a, you. Just a little gift. Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> because, because you treat us well and you make our first day in Sri Lanka, sure, sure. you make us so happy, so we want to, to give you a gift. Literally like one of the first people we met in Sri Lanka. And he yeah, gave us the best first impression. So yeah, check out all these bottles of the syrup. Toddy palm syrup. Oh wow, look, he's got a big one straight out the fridge. Look at that. It's giant. Whoa. Let's check this out then here. That's a massive pot of curd, that. Wow. The nougat curd. It's got a nice little packaging as well, hasn't it? So this is your business name? In business name. Okay. This is Tisse Maram okay. Mikiri. Okay. This is uh, uh, South Province. Okay. Tisse Maram is the name of the place. Right. This is famous, famous for, for, for curd, uh, Tisse okay. Maram. This is Binuka Enterprises. What is Binuga? Binuga, Binuga is my son's uh, name. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Binuga Kurt. So what language is this? Sinhala? A singular language, singular language. Okay. Singular language. So this is the local uh, Sri Lankan text. Sri Lanka, yeah, yeah. One of. It's a bit mad. This is Marama Mikiri. It's a famous place for Kurt. Oh, right. right. Here, three places. Here, three places. Uh, one is Kantali. Mm -hmm. uh, those one is Ampara. Uh, those one is uh, this is three places okay. famous. Right. So we're on the good pure, stuff. Pure curd. Pure curd. Wow. Sri Lanka's finest. Buffalo. Yeah, buffalo curd. Look at that, it's thick. I think this will be really good. Wow. Without uh, without uh, tickle, just uh, you well, you want to taste taste. Oh yeah, do you want to taste a little taste bit without the treacle, yeah. Yeah. yeah? To see uh, how like the pure curd tastes. Uh, you know, cow cow meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cow cow beef 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 yes. beef beef is uh, very 
cold. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool. Yeah. Cold meat. Too cold. Yeah. Uh, milk mm-hmm. is heat yeah. for body. Yeah. Curd mm-hmm. is milk is very cool. Right. Meat is very heat. Yeah. Right. It's different. Different. Yeah. Hot, hot, hot. yeah. That's why everybody like curd. the curd. curd uh, buffalo curd. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 That's why everybody like buffalo curd. Yeah. Buffalo curd is pure white. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Buffalo curd is pure white. Yeah. If someone may mix uh, or prepare curd uh, cow, yeah. cow milk, yeah. it's light yellow color. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say but it is super e- white. That everybody like buffalo curd. Yeah. Oh, you heard the man buffalo curd number one. Here in Sri Lanka, so cools the body down exactly what we need on these hot days. Yeah. And it must be very popular because you can see how many boxes or clay pots, I should say, Buffalo. selling. He's just got a mountain of them. Uh, you know, for Buffalo Curd, so you were joint pains. Yeah. Joint pain is good yeah, for joint pains. Oh, yeah. super. And uh, digestion. Mm-hmm. Also, sexual life. Yeah. Sexual health. Okay. Sexual life. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Very okay. Good yeah. That's, That's what we like to hear, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you can see here on the bottle, it does say Kittu Treacle, which is pure toddy palm jaggery, sugary goodness. Without sugar, uh, just taste. Okay. Without sugar. That is one serious bowl of curd, isn't it? You also use uh, the single. I hold like. You will hold. Oh, yeah. thank you so much. Let's see how it is. Mix or just eat? Mm. Just eat. It's delicious. It's very good. Oh yeah. It's fresh. Yeah. That tastes super fresh. Mm. Really fresh. It's sweet as well, actually. You think a little bit. A little, a little bit sour, sour as well. Yeah, but also quite sweet. I think. That is that is some good curd. I've got to say. It's delicious. Oh, is this the treacle going in? This one, this one, this is yesterday. Oh, wow. Because of the big bottle yesterday, I bought from <laughs> <laughs> you Thank you very that. much. Thank you. What do you do with this? Mix it in? Mixing. Mix. Now we taste how is it? Oh, I'm really excited for this. I've been looking forward to it's this. It's going like an off oh. white colour. Oh, thank you. Oh, delicious. Should I take it off you? Oh, huh? it's yummy. Just taste. Very good. Let's just try a bit then with the treacle. Oh, wow, it looks so good. I don't want to spill it. Oh, that's so good. Very good. That is amazing. Yeah. It's completely different with the treacle because yeah. you've got that like, it's like a, a proper natural sweetness, isn't it? And then you've got the sourness from the curd. It's not like overly sweet. I think it's because it's, like, it's natural. That's so good. Look at this, you can see. It's just poured loads of that in there. And now we've got a giant ball of this curd. Wow. That looks so good. It's honest then. Oh my. I want that for breakfast. Every day in Sri Lanka. That's so good. It changes it so much, the treacle. It takes the sourness away completely. Yeah. Completely takes it away. It's really creamy, isn't it? Delicious. Then when you go, you can give UK address. Yeah. Okay. When you go, all finished. Before one day you call me, yeah. I'll send you a single parcel for you. You get down in the UK. Okay. <laughs> okay. You say it is Sri Lanka. Thank you very much. Very nice to meet you. You are very kind, man. Thank you so much. Very good. We're very happy that we met you. Oh, thank because you. Because we, we met you on our first day okay. and you were so kind to us. Can yeah. I ask you something? Yeah. Can I take this yeah. as a memory? Yeah. Take that. So in England, I can say, oh, I remember this man. <laughs> <laughs> It's a nice label though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's a, 
This is free from my garden. Free? Are you sure? This is free from my garden. What is it? Oh, this full bag? That's yeah. Too much. No, I'll give you put it in some bag. Okay. Yeah, not so bad. Uh, you keep this way always. Okay. okay. With you, okay? Yeah. Some salt also. Oh, salt. And then salt. you put it in water. Uh, water yeah. and water yeah, yeah. and salt. Okay. It's mineral working. Good yeah. for your kidney and uh, All right. liver and everything. Okay. It's too much hot too now. Too much yeah, hot. too hot. Too you hot. don't know. You knew here. I can't <laughs> deal with it. I'm dripping in sweat all day. <laughs> so now, Shan is giving us some type of local fruit. Take with garden. us on the bus tomorrow from his garden, yeah. I think we have found the nicest man in Sri Lanka on our first day. It also happens to make the best curd in Sri Lanka. I, I, I give it to you like with this one. Yeah, okay? no problem. Because when you open here, yeah. it's uh, it's coming uh, no, right. like milk. Okay, okay. It opens Not it, fresh. doesn't it? Okay. What do you call this little fruit? It's a. Uh, in Tamil language, yes. Kolinji. 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 Yeah, in singular, Nara. Nara. Mm, Nara. Nara. It's like a little kumquat. Yeah, it's almost like a kumquat calamansi, oh, little lime thing. See, I put it this, this one, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. The leaves smell really good as well, I'll tell you that. Nice, isn't it? If I know, I will uh, bring a uh, water bottle and all, everything. Oh, oh don't, don't worry, worry. you've done enough for us. <laughs> so, actually. And we came on the first day, gave us some of these, and we mixed them with water. It is actually really good. You, you came to Sri Lanka, we should respect you all. Yeah, we respect everyone. Thank you so much. Okay. We respect you. Thank you. <laughs> you are looking after us. Yeah. You gave us the best welcome to Sri Lanka we could have asked for. Thank you. I'm choosing yellow, yellow colour. Oh. <laughs> no, that will be enough, don't worry. Save them for yourself. This one, <laughs> keep with you, okay? Okay. 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 Put some, uh, put A little bit salt. of salt. Because too much uh, salt. sunny. Mm -hmm. You're oh. sweating too much. Sweating too much. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, you feel unfit sometimes. You feel unfit. <laughs> yeah. A natural electrolyte drink. Get some hydration for the nation going. Look how many of these he's giving us. He's giving us a kilogram. Wow. That's enough, I think. No, no. How many of these we are going to stay here? One month here. Yeah. Oh, are we getting a month's supply? <laughs> That's it. A, mu a month's supply now, so we can make um, fresh drinks the whole time we're here. Wow. We've taken half of Shan's bag. Don't worry, that's enough, that's mate. Okay. Don't worry. That's super. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, it's, it's an endless bag. Wow. wow. Uh, Let me see that. Okay. Wow. There's so many. <laughs> Thank you so much. Put some uh, lemon. 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 It's like this is lemon. It's like lemon, this is very good mm -hmm. for your thirsty, too much hot, no? Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> no thanks, no sorry. No, I really I love <laughs> both of you, like my kids. Oh, thank you so well, much, We're very sir. grateful to you, because you've made us very happy here. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. If any trouble here in yeah, yeah. Sri Lanka, here you call us both of you, nothing to happen, any trouble. Uh, nothing happened here. Security in Sri Lanka rules and regulations are very high. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, new uh, uh, police, uh, uh, police um, head of police, mm -hmm. uh, all, all island head of police is new. Yeah. They yeah. the rules and regulations are yeah, yeah. very good. I have one in my room, I have one, but I, yeah. just, I didn't bring it today. Oh, hot. It's an umbrella. Because, oh, umbrella. umbrella. Yeah, yeah, everyone walks around with an umbrella because yeah. it's so hot. I will get it. Thank you, Keep wet clothes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. This is too much uh, hot heat. <coughs> well, if you are yeah. saying it's hot, for us, yeah. it's flipping raw. Take care. Don't consume more than you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Take care. Take care. Take care. If anything, you have a number, my yeah, number, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need a WhatsApp.
when you get down in Jaffna, you call I'm here. Okay. When you go to we are here. I can help you, I can support you. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. If you have any problem, keep with your money, the bus, Very all high. everything. Thank you. Yes, okay. Man. Okay. Yeah. Have a look at it. Thank you so much. He's such a kind man. Shan is a legend. So this is his shop. And if you'll see, it's just super humble little curd shop. Curd and syrup, you can see it's on the picture. Okay, goodbye. And I really like how he is the most humble geezer ever. So he started off selling on the road, literally just selling his curd on the roadside. And he's gone from that to now selling to the finest luxury hotels in Sri Lanka. They're all buying the curd from him. Sells to the Hilton. Sells to the Hilton, the Shangri-La, which I had a look, it's 200 pounds a night. It's absolute luxury. And he's still just in that classic little shop, keeping it real. Hard working man, really kind. You can tell he's got really good intentions, really good man. But oh, he, he didn't even let us pay for that. He, that man wouldn't take money ever. He's, he, he wasn't having any of it. So he gave us the, those massive bowls of curd and the um, palm, toddy palm jaggery. And all these bloody oranges. All these. Give us enough for 25 days, bless him. <laughs> they kept giving us drinks, it's too, telling us it's too hot. Did Bloody you hear him when he said, um, so look, I'll tell you the back story. The reason why we love that man, we went to him the first day and he was so kind to us. And he said, it doesn't matter about money. I don't care about money. All I want is like, you know, to have a nice life and meet nice people. He actually what an said, absolute hero. you don't take the money to your grave here. It yeah, doesn't matter. He, he literally said. just said it does not matter, which is how we should all be. So yeah, kindness man in Sri Lanka, eh? He also said we could stay at his house whenever, no problems at all. They said basically anywhere we go in the country, if we need any help, whatever, somewhere to stay, just let him know and he'll help us out. Top, top man. So now we'll go back to where we were in the video. Now as we're walking through our local area, we've come across a small Buddhist temple. So we're going to take a look inside here. Now Sri Lanka is majority Buddhist. And then we've got a sizable population of Christians, Hindus and Muslims. But most people are Buddhist. So we'll just have a quiet look in here. I mean, it's very nice. I feel like I'm back in Thailand. Super peaceful. Mm. So I think we'll sit in here for a few minutes. Here is the Sri Lanka local buses, look at them. They're really colourful. And that is probably how we're going to be travelling around the whole country. On those local buses, the hot sweaty buses. I think, yeah. So we're here for a month. We'll probably travel just all around the whole country. It's going to be good. I can already tell it's going to be good. We're looking forward to it. Really, really good first impression. Yeah. So now it's like midday, so it is so hot. I don't know what to do. Maybe we're going to just have a break in the shade and then we'll head out again after. I think that's what we're going to do because it's just so hot. As you can see, this lady's got an umbrella. It's so hot, isn't it? Yeah, very hot. Very hot. <laughs> Trust me, it's so hot. That's why she's walking around like that. So you'll see us again soon. We'll head out. Maybe we'll head to the beach. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's do that. Here we are then. We're back out now. Nobody wants to be walking around in the 2 p.m. heat. So sun's just setting. Beach is literally down here. It was a 20 minute walk from our room. Can confirm, still dripping in sweat, but I think we're gonna get a cracking sunset. So let's see, I think this is just a local beach, so I'm not expecting something super pristine, but it should be chilled either way. Look at that papaya tree, wow. I'll tell you what, first day in Sri Lanka, one thing I've noticed is they have got some good fruit and veg, like the fruit especially. It's looking fantastic. I'm gonna have to do a market video. Try some fruits. We've even got durian. Stay tuned for that. Look at this everyone, we got the local train going past. Oi oi! With everyone hanging out. Wow, it's packed. That is one busy train. Oh gosh. So we have to cross the train track to get to the beach. There she goes. 
Right, let's see. Come across here. I think we have to jump over the wall. A bit sketchy. Here we go. We have to jump over leash. There is the ocean. Right. <laughs> there she goes. Right, everyone. So the train just stops at these tiny little stations and it runs all the way up and down the coast. So here we go. Oh, I just kicked the wall. Right. Hey, left and right. Is there a train coming? No, the train's there. So here we go. Here's the other side of the track. Is there a train coming the other way ready to hit us? Let's see. No, there is not. We're in the clear. So here we go. I still get scared even if I look so many times. I feel like I'm just going to appear. <laughs> get run over. Yeah. Right, here we go. Woo! We're at the beach. Just a little local beach. Oh. Let's see what it's like. I think during our trip we are going to see some very beautiful beaches and I'll tell you what there's not that much shit as you can see there is a bit of shit like toothbrushes straws and all that crap let's just take our shoes off oh there's no stabbies in the sand any sharks well for a little local beach it's all right actually for, for like a local beach isn't it <laughs> chill out. Everyone's just like having a little swim over there. Oh, there's a massive group of lads in the sea, yeah. So yeah, it's not the cleanest. But at the same time, it isn't extremely dirty. Right, beautiful stuff. You can see the sun over there. Bright red, dipping. Look at this, everyone. Hey, what a good vibe. Maybe we should just go for a wander down the beach. See if we can grab some food, see if anyone's selling anything. If not, we'll have to go to a restaurant. A drink. I'm drinking some food. We're starving. What a nice day we've had. Yeah. It's a very nice beach. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll see how the seawater is. Let's test it. I'll tell you what, it's quite warm. It's actually quite warm. It's not too warm to the point where it's like wee water. I don't like a really warm sea. Let me know how you like it. I like it a bit cold. Look at that. Let's keep going. So don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this beach is perfect. As you can see, there is a lot of shite knocking around, you know, in the sand that's all washing up or just being left. But I've seen far, far worse, like, and for a capital city beach, you know, it's all right. It ain't that bad. That ain't me saying it's a world-class beach. I'm talking bollocks, but it's quite nice to come at sunset and just chill out. You know what I mean? Like, it's not the nicest to come and just lie in the sand or whatever. But yeah. You get what I'm saying. I'm just waffling. Building a man fucking getting changed there. Sorry, mate. Hey, this is good to see, isn't it? A massive bin here on the beach. It actually says it was donated by someone. And it also says, do your duty and protect Mother Nature's beauty. Bloody hell, have, have true words ever been spoken? I mean, it's almost like there's a lot of blind people coming to the bin here, but we're going to cross back over the tracks and see if we can get some food along the front here. Trains go in. <laughs> no trains. So here we go. Gosh, you've got to look where you're going. We've got a tyre shop. I don't think that's going to cut it. So yeah, let's see. Hopefully, because we're on the beachfront, everything won't be like expensive restaurants. I'll be able to just find some casual food. Let's see. So I heard the jingle and I couldn't refuse an ice lollipop. You got an ice cream man literally on the beach. Check out what he's got. You can hear him from five minutes away. What is this? Is this rose? 
Nectar. Oh, Nectar. So, how much is it? 16. Can I have two of them? I might get this. Do you have the two bar Faluda? Okay. Faluda? Okay. Oh, yeah, we'll get that, eh? Bit of rose flavour on our day. Thank you, sir. What have you got? I've got Faluda. I've got the. So, I've got like rose. A vanilla? I've never heard of nectar. What is what is nectar? What is it? Oh. It's got a little bit of fruit and packets. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. That's very good actually. He's got a bit on his stand. What is it? It's like mint. Really? It's like mixed berries. Well that hits the spot that is. Trying to open this while filming. There we go. That's good, isn't it? That is good. So people have no excuse to buy a lolly and just whiz the litter. Thank you, sir. You know, you've seen it in other countries. Ice cream stand. Next to the ice cream stand, it's just a sea of shite. So shout out my mate. What are we on? Paluda. Vanilla inside. That's a better train, that's quieter. That one's quiet. The one going the other way had a million people hanging out of it. What a lovely train. Is that on that train? You can watch the sun set all the seats. It's always a attraction now, that we've said that. It's really good this, it just tastes like rolls and vanilla. Mine tastes like berries. It's good, it tastes like bimp Yeah. Really good. Pepto. it must be a drink. It's a cheap house, right? Ollie, but when you're flipping, boiling up, it's the spot, doesn't it? Now everyone, we're going to take you into a local little supermarket, the Jaffna Supermarket. Let's see how it is. It looks alright, doesn't it? Just a little number. It's like outdoor. So Leash is looking for the drink of the ice lolly she just had. What's it called? Nectar? Nectar. Go on, read the bottle. Is it Sri Lanka? Yeah. Elephant House, I've seen this, it's what all the fizzy drinks are. Where does it say? Manufactured Sri Lanka. Right. Do you want a fake cock? No, just get the nectar. Nectar. Excuse me, mate. I don't think that, I think that one went straight through him. He's busy, bless him. I'm just going to... Uh, is this from Sri Lanka? Sri Lanka, yeah. Oh, is it good? Very good, Ah, cheers, <laughs> mate. You. There we go, we're gonna get that. Let's just have a look at the supermarket while we're here. It's all right, isn't it? It's all right. It's just like your classic tropical supermarket. It's like a sauna in here though. It's like, it feels like you're on holiday. Some woven baskets, enough of the supermarket so I'm boring everyone. Right everyone, how much is the next so? Where do we pay? Hello sir. Is this Sri Lanka's finest drink? It looks good. It looks good. It's, good. it's like dark red. Thank you. 107. Sorry. New, new to the notes. Thank you. 170. It's alright, innit? Thank you. Oh, this man's bought a fake cork. A kick. <laughs> Go on, Lee. Try, try the next door. Straight off in the shop. Now it looks like Vimto. Yeah, right. And if it tastes like the ice lolly, it tastes like Vimto. Let's yeah, go Nectar. Crack. Literally because you're Vimto. Really? It's well good, yeah. It's well good. It's really short. What is good, that? It's like a Vimto cross with something, I don't know. Like a hybrid. Sweet You think? It tastes sugar free to me, though, like that. There's a little bit of sugar in. Oh. Alright everyone, we're going to get some food now. We're going to walk down the street. Find a little restaurant. But just, just some humble food, you know. Some easy going food, relaxed setting. You know, no Michelin star. Business. I think this will do us. We've got two spots here. I think we're going to go into the Harry Dorsa, but first let me just show you the menu here. Because we've got some prawns. And we've got some good old salmon. 
Same in it. Right, but I think we're gonna go in the Dosa spot. Harry Dosa. Let's see. Hello. Yeah, this looks good. How are you? How are you? We come to try the Dosa. Okay. okay. <laughs> this looks like a good spot. From England. Yeah. Are you from Colombo? Yes, Sri Lanka. Yes? Uh -huh. Sri Lanka. Right, you do good. Yes, make a YouTube video. So today is our first day in Sri Lanka. Okay. So we are very excited to try lots of food. Okay, sir. Thank you. All right, we've got some tunes blasting, in, so I have to edit this funny, but maybe we'll go to the back corner. Just got the big menu on the wall. Right, walls of different type of dosa. The ladies brought us over a proper menu, right? And there's just too much choice. Everything looks so good. We've got like eight different dosas. We've got Utapam, we've got Idli, String Hoppers. Gosh, this is a hard decision. This is, this is a tough decision. What do you do when you face with a menu this this big? It stresses me out. And then please can I get the garlic dosa? Yeah, sure. And then please can we also get what do you want, sir? mango juice? Mango juice. Lime juice. We have lime, uh, water, melon, like that. Mm. Please can we have lime? Lime with sugar. Yes. A little bit. Two lime. Only one. Let's get two, yeah. Only two, one. Two, yeah. Two, no, two, two is okay. Two, two, two. Okay. Thank you so much. I like this lady. And everyone in here because we've got the head bubble going on. The classic head bubble. I like it. So that was an odd decision. Both the garlic dosa. This is going to be the chapati set. It's going to be very good. Just going to go and wash around. You can see. Got a nice sink over there. Get your hands nice and clean. Lime juice to go with refreshing lime juice. We've snuck into the kitchen, everyone. The boss lady is very kind. And it's just super simple. Here we've got all the batter. Is this the dosa batter? Dosa batter? So there you've got all the fermented rice flour batter. A massive bucket of it, look. So they're making a lot of dosa here. And yeah, everything's just done fresh. We do really like this type of food, it's always so good. Like, you never get sick of it, and it's so good for your stomach because the, the batter is fermented. Like, honestly, because when we were in South India, we ate this for a month, this type of food, we had the best guts of our life. So, here is the little flat top. So, I think they're Alicia's chapatis. She literally rolled the dough out fresh and slapped them on there. This is a top spot, yeah. Super clean as well, really clean. Good stuff. What's in there? What is this one? It's uh, maybe dosa dough. Oh, for dosa yeah, dough. Oh, yeah. okay. You video like that one. Same set? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is also dosa butter in here. Them chapatis look good, don't they? Chapati. Oh, so this is the chapati. Chapati. So there we go, fresh. Fresh roll. That's the dough right there. Then they get flattened, yeah. put on the flat top. Pasted with a bit of butter. This is butter. Ghee, oh ghee. ghee, oh super. That's exactly what you want. Ghee, like just pure, clarified, natural butter. Hey, this is cool, isn't it? That's it live in action. It's very hot here. <laughs> yeah. Right next to the grill, obviously. Dripping, dripping absolute buckets. Now we're gonna get to watch my mate make my garlic dosa. So there's the batter. Nice big helping goes on there. Look at that, and he just rubs it out. It's massive. That's gigantic. So big. I think this will just cook super fast. Look at that. Oh, I'm well excited for this. Proper excited for it. Garlic dosa. I've never had a garlic dosa before. Yeah, they are going to do that guys. Oh, okay. You put chili inside? Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, this is the... Oh, garlic. What? Just garlic and chili? Garlic, chili and red onion. Oh, that sounds so good. Yeah. But this is the filling everyone. I like it. There's a lot of chili in there. That's good. I play the ghee. Oh, so some ghee goes on now. Nice generous flick of the ghee. Look at that. Generous. And then this is the filling, eh? 
Oh, look at that. This looks really good. Try and not get an army square. So you're just going to spread that about. Finish cooking, fold it over. Jobs are good, aren't they? Okay. Thank you so much. This is going to be good, I can tell. I think it's going to come with coconut chutney. Or sambar, I don't know, we'll see. Oh, yours is here. So good. The guy's talking about everything is. So this is soy based. Okay, so that's this one. Soy bit, yeah, and there's coconut chutney. He said something keema. Oh. Keema, and then potatoes. I'm gonna get some here because these are fresh. Yeah, they've literally just come off the flat top. I watched him make them. You can tell they're built so good. Try the coconut chutney first. Oh, that looks top. That. This is good stuff. Good. It's delicious. It's spicy. Spicy? Mm. This one's the most interesting. This this kind of, what is it, like soybean Soy ball yeah. mystery? It we looks good though. This one's hot, it's oh, Thank you so much. How is it? It's spicy. <laughs> it's really hot. Delicious though. I like the husband and rolls almost. Please taste it. I got one more. This looks good. This is like, what is this potato and chili and all kinds of stuff? It's got like red onions in it as well, I think. Delicious. Oh, loads of cumin. Really? Is that your dosa? Yeah, it looks fantastic. It's massive. I think my dosa is literally right there. It's an animal. It's a monster, isn't it? You're just putting all the condiments in my tray. I can't wait for this tea. Mm. Mm. Okay, cheers, sir. Wow. That is massive. It smells well, but it, there's a proper strong smell of garlic. Just hit the table. So, I'm so we make it. Oh, that's hot. So what we're gonna do is we'll wait for a minute. You can see I've got the coconut chutney. Kind of the same dishes as Leash, apart from this one's different. Is this like a lentil based, potato based? What is this one? It's called sambar. Sambar? Oh, okay, yeah. super, okay. Thank you so much. It's from spicy green, that's from coconut chutney. Okay, Delicious. cheers. What we'll do while we wait is try these lime juices. Leash has already had off. How is it? Really good. Is it good? Yeah, couldn't wait. It's ever. Dangerous stuff, that. You just want to drink it in three seconds flat. Oh, it's good, super sweet, but then it's bitter. But at the same time, from the lime. Right, okay. Put the stay to this monster. What do we do? Crispy ends, look, yeah, oh, look at that. That's proper geed out its head. The geese made it really crispy. As you can see. Look at that. Right, let's get stuck in. Let's rip a nice big chunk off and try this garlic dosa. Smells so good, so garlicky. Oh, that's good. That's really good. I was expecting really garlicky, but it's got a proper nice spicy kick. There's a decent amount of red chili in there. I'm gonna try it with the coconut chutney, one of my favorite things on this earth. It's all good. Oh yeah. This is well good. Wow. The end is super crispy as well, but in the middle, softer. Well, the batter is thicker, I like it. Now, we have to try the sambar. So, let's get a decent handful of this. It's super fresh and hot. Wow, look at that. Even got a vegetable in there. What's that one, Leash? Pumpkin. Is it pumpkin? Looks like some type of squash. Right. I mean, this is fantastic. <coughs> Genuinely fantastic. Really good. I'm just going to try that soy base thing later on about. See how that one is. <laughs> Top notch. Well, 
This is a really good tea to end the day. Everything's spicy, like genuinely spicy, really good. All right, let's clear them up. It was super. Ramadanju. Thank you so much. See you later. That spot was fantastic. 1,200 first ball, which is about three pounds. Very good. I mean, the place is called Harry Dosa. I had to get a Dosa. One of us had to get a Dosa. It would have been a criminal offence to not get a Dosa. So we'll get away from this busy street and we'll end this video. Just spotted this bad boy on the way home. Proper banana shop. Check this out. Look at the colour of them. They've even got the red ones. I might get a red one actually, because they're good for you. Let's see. Excuse me, sir. How much are the red banana? We just want two piece. Two piece. Yeah. Like an after food snack. Let's see how much two pieces cost. Sorry, I just I couldn't not get one of them because they're fantastic. 140. It's all right, I've got a bag out. 70 a banana. He's already given us a fish. I know. With a plastic bag for a banana. That's the road for the two. I know. Cheers, mate. Yeah, let's give him the bag back, yeah. It's okay, I'll give you this back. Because I'm <laughs> going to eat now. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, look at that red banana. You can have bigger. Top stuff. Top banana. That's on top banana, yeah. This is perfect thing to eat after you've had a meal, isn't it? Yeah, please, yeah. Oh, it's really hot. I don't know if it's ripe or not. Oh, no, don't tell me it's not ripe. Oh, it's really hot. If it's not ripe, I'll be absolutely good. Oh, no. Oh, what? Oh, I've just seen a guy fall over wearing all white. So the outside's proper hard. This ain't going to be ripe, is it? This is an absolute disaster. Why did my mate not tell me it wasn't ripe? It's fucking rock hard. I'm having to eat it like that. It's alright. Needs a few more days, that. I mean, it's edible. We'll do it another, another day or two. You can tell, really, because it's actually quite pale still. But you can eat it, it's soft enough. But. For goodness sake. Oh well, there we go. Banana review in the bin. Banana review, fail. We're gonna leave this one here. Just gonna have to film an outro outside this person's house to use the light. Yeah, what a great first day we've had in Sri Lanka. Could not have asked for much more, really. Met some proper lovely people. Everyone's got a massive smile. Food's been really good. And I'm looking forward to spending the next month in this beautiful country. What do you reckon, Leish? It's actually, first day has been great. Food's really good as well. Why is no one talking about Sri Lankan food? Well, delicious. They don't know what they're doing, do they? Yeah. Sleeping on it, super fresh. Healthy. Really healthy. Really good. First day, first impressions excellent. Yeah. So I'll see you in the next then.